so I've given a lot of thought to this, and my sense is that the political situation in Washington is stalemated. It, it's, it's reached uh, a gridlock uh, where for forward progress on climate change is now impossible. And that's because climate change has become a partisan issue. If you're a Democrat, you're expected to have a strong position on climate change and to seek you know, positive action to slow it down, to stop it. If you're a Republican, you're instinctively expected to uh, say that climate change is a hoax or it doesn't matter, and you're opposed to any action to stop it. And it, you can't make progress in this environment of gridlock. And I think it's necessary to create a new, a, a new discourse on climate change, to view it in a new manner. And I believe that the military uh, provides us, possibly provides us with an alternative, uh, a, an alternative discourse, an alternative narrative about how to view climate change that Republicans and Democrats can agree on, which in my view is the only way we're going to move forward. And that is a national security narrative, a sense that climate change poses an existential threat to the national security of the United States, like other threats that we've faced in the past. And therefore, we have to unite to protect our country against this massive threat. And because it's coming from admirals and generals who have fought in wars and, and who say that this is a threat akin to what we faced in the past, possibly maybe this can shift the needle and move us forward in a way that other arguments in the past have failed to do so.